Okay, 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 okay. Before I get started, can we please have a look at this Windows 7 desktop? It's like trying to be Mac, but it can't get out of its Windows world. Look at all of its icons. iTunes on there. Uh, we got our widgets. Oh, I'm sorry. Gadgets. All over the screen, just like OS X. We have our fake dock down here. Come on, guys. These... They even made the gadgets the exact same thing as the OS X dashboard. Even the name Windows 7. Come on, OS 9, OS 10. Now they gotta use Windows 7, Windows 8. Windows hasn't used names like that in years. It's like everything they do follows Apple. But this is not why we're here. We're here for this article, April 23rd, 2009. New Windows 7 hack purports to be unfixable. Now, let me read this to you. A hack that's unfixable is a pretty bold claim, but that's just what researchers Vipin Kumar and Knighton Kumar, whatever that is, if that's how you pronounce his name, I'm sorry if it isn't, have announced at the now happening hack in the Box Security Com uh, C Conference, and they seem ready to back it up. Apparently they've devised a means to gain control of a Windows 7 computer during the boot up process through the use of a tiny 3k kilobyte program dubbed vBootKit 2.0 which loads itself into the system memory and bypasses the hard drive altogether making it extremely difficult to, to, to detect. Once loaded an ill-intentioned individual could potentially change passwords, access protected files, or do just about anything else and then leave without a trace. The only fairly big drawback is um, it says the only fairly big drawback to the hack, however, and the upside for most users is that it can't be performed remotely. So you have to be sitting in front of the computer. But that has nothing to do with the point. Um, so it's likely only be, it will likely only be a significant concern since you have to be at the computer. Um, for businesses or other folks using computers in public places could be a problem. Microsoft, unless of course Microsoft finds a way to fix the unfixable. So there you go. Windows 7 hack. Unfixable? Unfixable. That's it. Somebody gets this little 3 kilobyte program and sits down in front of my computer when I don't know it, they can have access to everything. That's all it's going to take and it's never going to be fixed. Just another reason to leave Windows in the dust. It gets worse and worse with every release. Get a Mac. Put Windows on your machine for a boot camp to play your games with. And other than that, leave it alone, guys. You're going to end up getting your shit stole, hacked, lost. It's getting worse. It's getting worse, and market share has nothing to do with the amount of viruses on OS X. Anybody who says otherwise is a fool, because OS 9 had a million and one viruses. It's just OS X is too secure for most hackers to deal with, period. And if businesses switched to OS X, this wouldn't be a problem. I can take my laptop to work or school and not have to worry about somebody getting on it when I'm not looking and hacking it or letting my buddy use it. Hey, can I borrow that this class? Sure. You all might not let your friends use stuff, but some people do. And the point being, just another way for you to get fucked. Get a Mac. OS 10.